Not this mountain people of God on uh, this authority FM uh the premises. One hot adult go pee plenty PBC when the door for sides uh I can't meet carry and come authority FM premises. I see people so all the plenty PBC when they for a year where it pass if you don't reach one million oh, belong to Navy not the, the ones who don't check now Navy not people now I get this PBC oh. Me for tell everybody when it's a bin, your friend and friend where we shall the compound people where no see their PBC. May they find a call authority FM compound and a person. See the people when bring a call, they can't come authority FM premises. I see be like this, like this now. These uh PVC they were compound. Now the people where pick and be this, they can't come. Jump and they say they pick and for a million. And all the ones where they don't check, all of them and they will not. Who more of who people? Okay, logo. Now here yeah, they come jump and more. In case if you don't find your PVC, go say they say they don't see them. If you are waka carry and come, eh, carry and waka come authority affair. Come begin check and if you carry check on, shall you? You got plenty. Go find, find, find. If you see your compound person own, go we'll carry and send them. Now the people when you bring a come be this. And at the now the bag when they say wrap on, it means say don't and stay. Eh, uh, they wrap on for inside this bag. We don't do it like this. Put it inside the booter. Control. Our guy, we say say see and say. I can't make you move. I can't move. Okay. Okay. All right, better people. My name is Namaki, the area member, the one at the only in the middle of the report from Authority FM Compounds. I just the report and I see just show. Nah, 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 this evening, that they carry and come. So, I bet me share this video. Share this video. So, people won't be said that they find their PVC. Wow. This video was made in the compound of Authority FM in Newe and has been trending online showing that most of the PVCs belong to the people of that area. And the radio station staff who ran the short commentary on the video or those who were yet to get their PVCs to come to the premises of the FM to check if they can find theirs. With the elections just a few days away, it is disappointing to see sabotage such as this being perpetrated by power-hungry individuals. Bringing this back to sensitizing Nigerians, actions have consequences. And today we will be talking about electoral offenses and penalties. What are some of the electoral offenses that have been normalized and what penalties should rule breakers expect? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS on WhatsApp to 081 You could also tweet to us at WeshowAfrica1 with the hashtag Weshow. I saw this video the other day when we shared it and I was like, I was lost for words. This is the one we even know about. Imagine how much more. I'm sure people might have gone to, you know, collect the and say, we, we can't find it. We can't find it. Yet, see how many PVCs. This is this is wickedness at its, its peak. Lot. And that's someone's that's someone's responsibility. Yeah, yeah. of yeah. course. So, so, that, so now, where's the maker checker? Right. Great question. Well, I'm glad that people have actually now come. And they've gone, and I'm sure there are people that actually found their PVCs course, there, there yeah. as well. Like we should actually get a report on that. Man, this this is this is very pathetic because people even we went through the stress to register for PVC in the first place, and then you as a human being, somebody came to you and said, "I will this thing," and then you packed it all and decided to throw it away. And that person too will be on social media oh, yeah. anywhere. I'm saying Nigeria is not. Of course, <laughs> of course. But do you, do you know how you know how in, interesting this thing is. You know the story that when you are sitting from this side, you're looking mm. at it like. But when you not get into the power, because if you get to meet people that are supporting any of these parties, and if you see the way they are talking about it, mostly when they are supporting a particular party, and they will ask you why. You can't even say why. Mm. But it's because of what you know you will collect from yeah. inside. So people don't really care. They give you a bag of money. You just look the other way and say, hey, it's not my business now. My family okay, has to yeah. eat. But for okay. how long? I'm seeing people now. Like, I'm so excited at the way people... You give me 500 naira to do what? <laughs> You're giving me a goodie bag of 1 kg of Gary and uh, Maggi. I, I saw one house guy oh, some, some days ago that they gave some palettes to put the party's logo on it, saying mm. that vote for us and all. And the guy had to ask him, why are you giving me this thing? I go collect and I go still go vote for our own vote for. Mm, because now people are opening their yeah. eyes. They're actually seeing <laughs> There was the one we saw, Jennifer. Uh, the one of them. They hope they're calm gas. Camp gas. <laughs> camp gas. I'm telling you. And I saw a, um, someone put it, somebody said, oh, you in, in, in Lagos, you are out there in Lagos and you are claiming yeah, you belong to this particular yeah. party, and your mothers are back there in the villages com com um, collecting camp <laughs> gas. As in, we saw some people carrying two. 
Yeah. <laughs> they will have a very big family. But I, I wish they are collecting this thing to still vote who they believe they, they want right to. to do. Yes. Because it's it's tiring, really. For how long? This is 2023. It's quite embarrassing. I tell you. Oh. Anyway, let's much. discuss electoral yes, offenses <laughs> and consequences because everything, ha every bad thing actually yeah, has, has a consequence. And I, I love what is happening this time around. Just like with the Naira, like Jenny said earlier on, just like with the Naira, we design a Naira mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You spray money, they arrest. Yes. Yes. So now, it's the purest guys that they need to arrest now. Oh, and they know there's, they, a, uh, there's now. a law now. No, this is not a matter of the law okay. because people will tell you, like, it has happened to me. Mm. They will tell you that. Eh, that how did we get the money? They know how we got the money, and they will still charge. I told you, I, was, I think I was telling you on the group. My security has been complaining since that there's no money, there's no money. He had mm. 7k in his account. He said, Okay, make I go POS, make I go collect 7,000. 2k, yeah, to collect 7k. So 5k is what you used to eat. How? Oh God. <laughs> Nigeria. Um, anyway, like, so speaking about electoral offenses and penalties, I was quite excited to see now that uh, there's a whole document yep. <laughs> of the Electoral Reform Act that says, if you do this, this, this is what is going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. And then there are quite a few of them that we'll be sharing mm -hmm. um, tonight, like the requirement of secrecy in votes. I remember when we spoke about safety yesterday, mm -hmm. um, Osaje actually nudged us and said, keep your whoever it is you're voting for. Secrets. secrets don't share with anybody don't speak to them because it might be perceived as you trying to convince yeah. the other the other party to vote for whoever mm -hmm. it is that you want to you, you're actually voting for so there's actually a consequence for that so if you don't maintain secrecy at uh, for voting at your polling unit or you interfere with the voter that is actually casting his vote there's a fine of hundred thousand mm error -hmm. or you can actually face an imprisonment of six months mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so please when you go to your polling centers keep to yourself and mind your business mind your business <laughs> don't go and start saying <laughs> No, that is it because of what this people did? Don't, don't it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I have a feeling that these INEC officials are not going to take it lightly at right. all. Yeah. They're not going to find it funny at all. It's, I'm not even sure the problem, the, the problem or the, the people to look out for will be mm. the INEC. Mm. It will be the military presence, you know, and it's very obvious that, you know, there's a whole lot that... Um, they're trying to put in place mm. for this election. So it's not business as usual. At, not, all. It's at not. all. See the, at the all. troops of military personnel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think there was also a video, I don't know if you saw, there was a mm. young uh, military guy that was saying, anybody that wants to do anyhow, you are ready. Yeah. You are ready. <laughs> <laughs> There's one that says, um, threatening a person with violence mm. or preventing someone from actually voting for who they want to vote for or even possessing a weapon. Mm. At the election or the, at your polling unit, there's a fine, and the fine is one million naira mm. or imprisonment for a term of three years. Mm. Now, if you threaten someone with a weapon or you're actually holding a weapon, the maximum fine for that is two million naira or a term of two years imprisonment or both. I love Meaning this. they will fine you two million <laughs> and you still be in prison. There's yeah. no way. Yeah, what? <laughs> there's no way. Also, please don't go out to. Say, oh, I don't have a PVC, but my grandmother has a PVC. And then you pick your grandmother's PVC and use it to go and vote. Votes. There's actually a consequence mm. for unregistered voters actually placing their vote. And that is also a fine of 100,000 naira or six months. Or as a matter of fact, you can even suffer both as well. So please, let's be guided mm. as well. Okay, so there is one about um, improper use of vehicles. Yeah. Conveying any person to a registration office or to a polling unit by government vehicle or boat, except in respect of a person who is entitled mm. to use such a vehicle or, or boat. Now, the penalty for that is a maximum fi fine of 500,000 mm. or imprisonment for six months or both. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so from, from my end, say a person um, voting or attempting to vote at an election when he or she is not qualified mm. or inducted as a person to vote at an election knowing that such person is not qualified for this offense you're going to be getting a maximum fine of 500,000 naira and a 12 months um, imprisonment or both so i mean all of this all of these um, penalties they're, they're not small ones mm. and to come across money is not based we all know that so you have a very sweet penalty here <laughs> <laughs> just in case you're not aware mm. unlawful possession of ballot papers mm. illegal printing of ballot papers 
illegal production or importation of ballot boxes. <laughs> Maximum fine is 50 million naira or 10 years imprisonment. If you don't like yourself, <laughs> go and do it. Okay, so there's one here that says, um, pay money to any other person for bri bribery at any election. Receiving any money or gifts for voting, mm. or to refrain from voting at any election, that is a maximum fine of five hundred thousand or mm. twelve months imprisonment, or both. Or I'm not okay. Or again, I mean, if you receive money or gifts or mm. anything, mm. so before you go to the polling booth that day and say, well, if they give me, I will collect it. Don't go and collect something that we just <laughs> land you, you know, with a fine of 500,000 or 12 months imprisonment. Mm -hmm. That is the same. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this relating to you being at the polling unit and collecting these gifts? Or like the camp gas women? <laughs> uh, no, no, there was no cost. Yeah, no, there was no cost. There was no cost. This one is because now they have actually yeah. they passed out the information. Yeah, so yeah. I have one here. This one, the penalty is actually big. Mm. Um, unlawful giving of of a voter's card mm. to someone other um, so some other person for use as an election other than an officer an officer appointed mm. to do so, being mm. in possession of more than one voter's card, and the penalty is a maximum of one million naira or 12 months imprisonment or both mm. Mm. Okay, mm. I think this is one that most people might actually make a mistake. So mm -hmm. We've been preaching these things since. Please don't go to the polling units to canvass mm -hmm. for votes. Don't, don't. Don't. It's on Friday night, everything ends. Yes. On Saturday, we then go and vote our conscience and make our decisions. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stay back, you stay back and watch them count. If not, you go to your house and go and rest. Mm -hmm. Don't canvass for Because if you canvass for votes or you persuade any voter not to vote for a particular candidate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay a fine of 500,000 naira or face an imprisonment for a term of 12 months. And I, I have a feeling that there are some people that are actually going to, because people know they hear yeah, word for Nigeria. They, they'll believe you will still so. reach there mm -hmm. and they will still be telling you why mm -hmm. this one is better than this one and why that one is better than that and why you should vote for this and mm -hmm. why you should vote for that. Please stay away from such conversations as a matter of fact. Completely. If possible, don't even, don't, when you see that they're having those kind of, just move away. Mm -hmm. Shift completely, Shifts. and another thing again is that the moment you're stepping out of your house, I know that th that mistake can happen sometimes when you just pick somebody else's card, maybe mm -hmm. your mom or your brother or your sibling. Please remember that you need to check properly yeah. to be certain that the card you're carrying is yours, yours and it belongs to you. Because if you, when you get to the polling unit and they find you with more than one card and one doesn't belong to you, that's a big problem, and that's a fine of a hundred thousand naira or six months imprisonment. So. Hmm. They're just dishing, in fact. But you, I, I, I like that. Yeah. This, no, I'm it's actually very happy about it's this. Yeah. Yeah. These are things that we were not aware we'll of before. I mean, 2019, yeah. we were not, these things were not out there. So it's great that there's so much enlightenment and awareness about these things. So now it's not a case of, oh, I did not know, I was not aware. Be very aware. You are very aware. It's been very said told. everywhere. You've been told. Yep. Yeah. So please stay away from all of these mm. offenses. Anyway, when we come back, we'll continue this conversation. We'll take a short break. See you shortly. Hello Nigerians, this is the Vox Pop on the Way Show. And for the forthcoming election, we'll be doing a sensitization, teaching Nigerians how to vote correctly. Because it is no news that many Nigerians don't know how to vote correctly. And so that our votes are not void, we need to be able to teach the people how to vote correctly. So come with us as we teach the Nigerian people how to vote correctly for the forthcoming election. Hello sir, do you know how to vote correctly? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want to show me? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. This is exactly how you vote. You put your thumb on the stamp pad and then you vote right here. And then make sure that your hand, your, your thumb has taken a lot of ink so that it can show correctly on whoever, whatever candidate you are supporting. Thank you.
like we know and like I said earlier, it is no news that many Nigerians do not know how to vote correctly. Some people turn print across the line. Some don't even get so much enough ink to turn print correctly. And that is why we came on the street to teach people how to vote correctly. Thank you very much for staying with us. This is the Vox Pop on the Way Show. And of course, it's your girl, Dami. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye. If you just tuned in to our ladies' night out and we're discussing electoral offenses and penalties, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS and WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. You could also tweet to us at WeShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WeShow. Our phone line is now open. Please call us on 0702-500-7749. Now, before we went on, we were actually talking about um, the electoral offenses and the consequences that Jennifer you're going to share one with us so there's one here that says broadcasting or publishing any material for the purpose of promoting or opposing a particular political party or a candidate during 24 hours immediately preceding or on polling day Mm. So this basically means wow. that you should not send out any material, you shouldn't publish anything. So if someone comes to you and gives you materials to share, or maybe a flyer opposing a particular candidate, either uh, maybe a candidate that isn't yours or someone who even is yours, I don't think you should say no. Mm. No matter how much they pay you, because guess what? If you're imprisoned, they won't help you. Mm -hmm. And that's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. And then the, the fine for this is 500,000 naira or imprisonment for a term of 12 months. Mm -hmm. Now, in a case of a body corporate, shall pay a maximum fine of 1 million. So that means as an individual, yeah. you're going to be fined 500,000. But you as a body or it's your office or company that is sending out those informations, then 1 million are, and you still also be in prison for 12 months. Mm -hmm. So 24 hours is from tomorrow. From tomorrow. So basically from tomorrow or on election day. So refrain from anything mm -hmm. from tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. Stop it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I want to go and share face cups uh, as on in, Saturday. I, I, in fact, the one I even want to talk about now is I, I remember in 2019 mm. when, when the election happened at the time that they were carrying ballot boxes and, you know, <laughs> kidnapping. So there's, there's, there's a penalty here. So unlawful possession of a ballot paper, illegal printing of ballot papers, mm. illegal production or importation of ballot boxes. And it's a maximum, the penalty is a maxim, maximum of 50 million naira. <laughs> or a term of imprisonment of nothing less than 10 years. Or mm. both. This one is like I think is the big, the, the biggest of the of offenses them, yes. because it means that if you have possession of the box, like you're, you, we we know we've seen a lot of situations like this in the past. Mm -hmm. So if you know anybody who is used to you know causing troubles or causing chaos, or who would just assume that oh um, if I'm holding the box, hey, am I not just holding the box? It doesn't even matter. The fact that you're not an official and you're in possession of that box, mm. fifty million naira is not 50 naira 10 years imprisonment is not six months imprisonment so this this i mean when you when you hear the level of the penalty you know that these guys are not here to play hmm. the new nigeria that we're asking for is yeah. what is coming we want to yes. ensure that that yes. new nigeria is yes. here yes. so we need to i mean if there's any way we can find this um mm. this penalties and actually look through it again I think it's important that we do because it wouldn't make sense that we all fall, we any of mm. you know the citizens mm. fall short just because they're trying to do you know mostly the innocent ones really. Mm. Sure. So let's pay attention. So we've been talking about us as individuals who are going to vote. There's one here for polling officers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A polling officer failing to report on time or to discharge his duties on election day without lawful excuse mm. or announcing or publishing a false election result. Is also an offense, mm. and the penalty for that is a maximum fine of 500,000 naira or 12 months imprisonment or both. And then, if you're going to falsify election results, it is 36 months imprisonment. I think you should have done that. <laughs> right? <laughs> three years. Three years that you should have done from five years because and above, actually. Mm -hmm. So, you have to make the punishment so steep mm. that they think twice and understand that it's not worth it. It's not, it's, it's not worth it. I agree. 
Jennifer, I think it was you that shared earlier the um, numbers to call if you actually notice any financial crime in the electoral process yeah. at your polling units. Please, I think we should also take that very serious mm -hmm. as well because I have a feeling that a lot of people are still going to attempt. Yeah. Especially in these areas, I was having a conversation with somebody last night and I was saying areas like Ali Mosho mm -hmm. and Co. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure people are still going to try yeah. to yeah. enforce that whole financial mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. give out this there give out, give out that here please no let's 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 try yes. as much as possible to avoid anything like that but then also don't forget guys we also want to hear from you our phone line is now open you could also call us on 0702500779 so there's one that I actually was going to speak about um Employing state apparatus, including the media, to the advantage or disadvantage of any political party or candidate the, at any election, and also unequal allocation of media time among political parties and, and candidates. I think this is actually too late to mm. go through because mm -hmm. I mean, we've literally yeah. reached the end of campaigns and whatnot. But then I like that. I hope this was actually enforced because I know I was in, I was in the car yesterday and I kept hearing one particular party. The adverts just kept <laughs> coming and coming. And I'm like, what's going on? It's is this force. the only... What is this? So the media, you know that the time of the media, um, Kenya has been paid for. Yeah. So they have to run, yeah. run oh, it. But there's actually some that is on equal allocation of media time. Well, maybe it's a last minute... Um, so when you say it's 24, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day. Yeah, but then I that, feel so like, like the frequency, right? I don't yes, want to that's explain what to you that. I'm not supporting. I'm mm. saying that it's probably... Well, they, they have yeah, 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 so it's the media so, time that they have got yeah. already. So they have to so they quickly... Have to yeah, yeah, because to be it. honest, if they don't complete it, if they don't use that media time they purchase from yeah. the radio for this campaign, they, they might have to get, extend yeah, it to yeah. another one. Maybe the company doesn't want that. We hear the advert. So there's one here that says, inciting others to act in a disorderly manner Mm. within a distance of 300 meters of the polling units, canvassing for votes, persuading any voter not to vote for any particular candidate, or being in possession of any offensive weapon, wear or display any notice, symbol, photograph, or party card. I think this also includes wearing the shirt that carries the face of, the of your candidate. Yes, yes. Don't do it. Mm. Maximum fine is 500,000. Or... An imprisonment of a term for 12 months or both. Mm. Then the one for wearing um, wearing those shirts, a fine of 100,000 or imprisonment for a term of six months. I know sometimes this fine might sound very small, but trust me, mm. when that day okay. comes, my baby mm. not even look at your fine. And you yeah. go to jail. You go to we jail. Have, we mm -hmm. have a caller, George from a boy. Hi, George. Good evening. Hello, George. Okay, I think we lost judge. Okay, so um, we've taken the part of the polling officer failing to report mm. on time. There's also, I in saw return. this one I saw randomly. When you get to your um, polling units and then you see, make sure that the BVAS is actually set at zero, 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 zero. That is actually very, very important. Mm. And it's been said that anybody that notices anything like that should actually call out the electoral officials at their polling units. If you notice any ha form of hanky-panky that is that they tried to play at any point there because there's, the fine for that is actually three years imprisonment without the option of a fine. fine. Straight up, three years imprisonment. Okay, George is back. Hello, George. Hello, I'm here. Good evening. Good evening, George. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I think uh, special interest on the area that they said uh, uh, if you don't the ballot that you are allowed to vote for any candidate or ten years imprisonment, right? Yes. Okay, this law is not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bothered, you know. And it's okay to me, but I'm afraid that this Nigerian law is always about affecting the poor masses. Mm. As you can see, the other day, the, the particular day, the day of the election, you see those prominent uh, politicians. They can easily walk up and even uh, effect or maybe. Uh, uh, touch the ballot paper or do otherwise, and nothing will happen to them. But if it is me and you, common citizen in the society, the law now will now affect us or affect the affect the other. So the those laws, I was I, I've been listening to you guys, and I I, I so much admire the laws. But how is it going to affect both the poor and the prominent men in the society because? All these laws, to me, 
It's only for poor masses, I'm telling you. Mm. George, we can't, we can't be social that it's just for poor masses. I mean, the, the law already says, stay away from, don't go and print like, extra choose, ballot choose papers. Choose yourself. You know? yeah. Yeah. In the first place, you just, like you just go there and do what yeah. is that. Whether you are a poor mass, whether mm. you are a, mm. a prominent mm. person, mm. whatever mm. it is, please, as much as possible, avoid trouble. Stay away yeah. from it. And, and it's 50 million, no? Yeah. Not 10 million. Yeah. Mm. It's 50, 50 million. Mm. And, and I mean, based on, on George's concern, for me, I feel like nobody can carry the box and put on your hands. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. a responsible human being, you're an adult. Yeah. So go there, be on the queue, do what you need to do, do the necessary thing and move. Do not, you're not supposed, don't touch. Mm -hmm. Why, yeah. why like, don't I touch. is it yeah. a pen or a barrel that paper that you will say it fell on my hand? It didn't. And the law is even, I mean, you have, you have um, a, a phone line you can call if mm -hmm. there is anything. There's anything exactly. yes. Say yes. pictures, I mean, post online, let people. So there's only so much denial right. that people can deny there are, sure. you know. Okay, we have facts. another caller, Comrade Badamasi from Ibadan. Hello, Comrade. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Good sir. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Here you go ahead. Hello. Good evening, sir. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I have a special interest on the issue of the uh, campaign 24 hours before the election. Yeah. Now, uh, my question is this. Do you know that uh, each political party has its own color competency? We can barely hear you, sir. There is one of the presidential candidates. Okay. Who has the planet logo on his cap? Now, I can only go to my fashion design to design such a cap for me. Mm -hmm. I'm actually str we're struggling, yeah. we're struggling yeah. to hear you. We're struggling yeah. to hear you, comrade. Please, would you do well to call us back because we're actually struggling to hear you. I'm really interested in what he has, what he has to say. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Please don't forget, when you call in, kindly turn down the volume of your devices, please, because of the feedback, so that we can actually hear you. Your opinion is actually very important to so, us, so that we can actually hear what it is that you have to say. Always turn down the volume of your devices when you call in. Thank you. Jola, you were going to say something. Oh, okay. So I was going to say that, um, I mean, back to what we were saying before, that mm -hmm. um, now it's very hard to... when so much evidence is out there mm -hmm. it's very hard for you to say oh no that's not me mm -hmm. you know because the evidence is out there for everyone and of course it's the age of social media yeah. just <laughs> call take pictures <laughs> tag who you need to tag and i mean don't don't try to make trouble or don't try to just you know try to make a big deal out, out of, of nothing yeah, yeah. but at the same time it's wise to be responsible mm. yeah, because okay. we all desire the change mm -hmm. yes so it's our collective responsibility okay we have steven steven from lokoja hello steven good evening hello good evening good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. yeah good evening steven we can hear you please go ahead i'm talking about uh electronic yeah uh there is this Aspect of it, I want the outlet and the security personnel to look at that. Okay. Do you know there are many candidates, young, especially young men, mm -hmm. who never register? They don't have TV. They come to a safety center. Yeah. So, especially what they do. The, the, the way they talk is, if you know, if you know a particular candidate will win particular polling, so they send them there to go and disrupt election, mm. that particular. So, if there is disruption, it will automatically affect the person, uh, the president or the candidate who is supposed to win that polling unit. Mm. Yes. That is. Another strategy will do. Another one is they go to drinking point, eating the market. I was buying something from the shop the other day. Mm -hmm. A young man was defending somebody that asked this election. He will advise him to stay in his house and eat very well. He himself will not go out. That is a lie. Trying to discourage that person mm -hmm. from going to election day. Yeah. So when, when the young man left, I now asked him, Baba. 
Is are you going to do what he is advising? You know, my name, that man will be going from place to place telling people that there will be Christ, he should stay home and keep very well. Mm -hmm. So, this set of people, this a strategy the opponents mm -hmm. are using yes. when they look at area where they know their opponents will win outrightly, good numbers, mm -hmm. they will go and cause crisis in such a place. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Stephen. I mean, he has a value yes, point. Yes, super, yes, yes, super valid. Yes, yes. Because I, I can imagine how um, people, you know how fear spreads yeah, like yeah. a wildfire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can just imagine how they're just planting little seeds of fear here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't go out. Oh, who are mm -hmm. you voting for? Don't go out. That's none of your business. I think now it's time for everybody to just pay attention. Eh? Mm -hmm. All these penalties, there's no joke. First of all, we know that the military personnel are well, all over the place. Yeah, yes. yeah. And they've, they've said it, if they see you with a polling bot, um, a, a ballot box or doing anything otherwise, mm. they're carrying you. No to by the, so there's, there's no, oh, is an illiterate mm. or is a baba. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. Mm. Don't spread fear. Because that fear is what Nigerians have been living with for as long as we know it. Mm. And we can't continue like this. Mm. It's impossible for us to continue. We as citizens were actually ensuring that we spread Land joy, joy, peace, mm -hmm. love, peace, love, like, yes. peace. Very because important. we don't want to be buying petrol for 200 and you know. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we have NS from Lagos. Hello, NS. Good oh, evening. I have no answer on them. Look, I don't know why we will be uh, federal government of a new electoral empire and armed policemen. To guard the political. Where they know that there will be possible uh, erosion of violence in that particular police. Whenever the ethnic violence starts, the policemen will be too helpless. Okay, so Ernest, so are you, are I, you I want, saying. I want, the, I, I want INS officers to look into that principally because I have witnessed uh, such a thing several years. Very uh, problem that uh, I think it was, and uh, you know, you look at the police that you are looking into, you really have more options to go down there to take the situation there. So okay, so. Do, uh, that's uh, my No one can go down I know can do something about that because uh, the election is. All right, so Ernest, if we hear you, you're saying that there shouldn't be armed policemen at the polling units. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I think, I, I think yeah. we lost him. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I was trying to understand what he was saying. If he's saying that he doesn't, the, the police, I think she don't allow policemen come there armed. You see the way yeah. I'm looking. Like, I you don't know that Nigerians have coconut head. No, I think he's actually <laughs> afraid of sporadic shoots. Yeah. That's what he's yeah. afraid of. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, now, it, so with, with the way things are going on, it's obvious that these people are here mm. to ensure that there is law and, and order. order. Yes. Yeah. That's the, because let me know, we know that Nigerians have coconut head. Mm. You know how something can start, like, a, like, like I mentioned, like fear. One thing is happening here, before you know, people are running, before you know, there's a problem. Mm. But when they see, you know, the uniformed mm. authorities yeah. standing yeah. there, that fear, you yeah, have yes. to be. Yeah, yeah, you comport correct. yourself. So, so even like, yesterday, even yesterday, I don't know. So, in case you didn't watch the show yesterday, um, mm. we talked about safety and looking out for yourself at mm -hmm. the polling unit. Yes, yes. And um, the, the, the guests we brought in on the show also mentioned that, I mean, it's possible that they might have paid some of the armed forces mm -hmm. and some of them are probably trigger happy. Yeah, yeah. But look out for yourself. Yeah. So immediately you sense anything that doesn't sit well with your spirit, be on the lookout, move. Mm -hmm. Move. Sure. You have the phone numbers that you can call. Mm -hmm. Call immediately. Because you really cannot tell who is who. Right. But the most important thing is look out for yourself first. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. always be at a lot. Be at a lot. Be ready to move. Once you get to your polling unit, look for the exits. Mm -hmm. Just look for possible exits. Okay, yeah. in case anything happens, this is where, where can I run to? Yeah, where yeah, can yeah. I move yeah, to? Yeah. And I mean, we pray that um, come Saturday, things will go smoothly. Yeah. We have Lawman from Abia. Hello, Lawman. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, my dear sister in the house. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, see, I want to let us know watch what is happening this day. A candidate and five other have been shot dead. Election has not taken place hmm. in Enugu. Hmm. Now, I want to let us know in pulling boots, I would like. Because there are some people who are helping to making sure. 
or that this you have to say so. So if you defend the person for his life, don't go to the public, don't be with the public, don't be there. Before you know this, people will start victimizing the people that just want that will not like to vote according to their own plan. So I want military men because we have seen elections and this particular election, a high number of voters will come out. So in order to secure the life of people, for somebody not to come to vote, before you know it, the person will become a gay man or a woman. So let military men, even army, be a little bit around that area. Let policemen be there with your arms. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Lama. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, like me have so, a yeah. so um, we have um, Austin from Delta. He says, um, not punishing electoral offenders appropriately and timely, too, is the reason why impunity reigns during elections. Mm -hmm. If a lot of PVCs were found in a forest, let me tell you, it is easy to arrest the culprit. According to the video, the owners are from a certain area. Why can't the INEC officials where the people registered be arrested to explain how the PVCs grew wings from their custody, despite the fact that many people had been going to collect theirs under stress. When one, when one sees this type of wickedness, it confirms the conspiracy theory where people from a certain ethnic region were being denied the opportunity of collecting their PVCs because of fear of not going to vote for a certain candidate from Lagos. Thorough investigation is needed, please. I salute ways for the enlightenment while I appeal that there should be more punishment meted out to offenders beyond, beyond the long list of polling offenses. Thank God you bless so much, you Austin. Thank you, man. Thank you, beautiful ladies. Yeah. It was great having you on it's the been show a tonight. Show, it yeah. was actually a great yeah. conversation yeah. as well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you all have been sensitized so far because we've been talking about this thing all the mm -hmm. way from Monday, please. Mm. But then before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagement. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. If people are good only because they fear punishment and hope for a reward, then why is sorry lots indeed? And this is by Albert Einstein. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Good night. Bye.